Hey everybody, welcome to the fourth Light and Learn at Mona Lounge in Glen Allen, Virginia. I'm Michael Giannini, your host for the evening, and I want to introduce Amir. Well, great to be back again, and uh, well, thanks for having it here, Mike. I'm the owner of Mona Lounge and Cigar Bar in Glen Allen, Virginia. If you ever go through here, please stop by, enjoy what we have to offer, full bar, full kitchen, cigars and live entertainment hours we are open from 12 noon till 1 a.m. seven days a week 365 days a year God bless you yeah <laughs> website you have a website Mona lounge cigar bar .com. so check it out because this place is spectacular uh, it's wood it's piano music there's a jazz band kicking in here there's a full line of cigars even though there are La Gloria Commanders, there's other cigars here if you don't like them. Amir does an amazing job. He comes from the hospitality business. His, his crew is wonderful, very polite, very courteous, and the drinks are great here. I've eaten here quite a bit. You won't be disappointed. Well, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Amir. Thank you so much for great being to have for having us, and yeah, uh, I really appreciate it. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. So check this out. Amir's a great guy. Thank you. Look at him. He's a handsome fella. All right. So now that we're on social media, I want to start this off very quickly um, by giving something away. So, completely unrelated to cigars, if anybody knows who my favorite fashion designer is, hit Twitter at LaGloriaCigars.com and I'm going to give away Artisanos de Abalesco. This is basically a cigar that looks like the Washington Monument, but it's an homage to the Heroes of the Restoration Monument in the Dominican Republic. And the quick story is every time I drive by there and saw this, I knew I was getting closer to the factory. So this is very special to me. Um, Judy Guillen and I worked on this and uh, first person out. So if you know who my favorite fashion designer is, this box is for you. So moving along, I want to introduce some cool people on my new team uh, for La Gloria. They've been here for a while, so I want to bring in a gentleman that works with me side by side every day. Literally, our offices are across from each other. This is Steve Abbott. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Michael, it's great to be back here again. I had a blast last time when we did it last year, and uh, looking for another great night. And Steve, I'm so glad you're here, bro. You know, we sit next to next to each other every day. Steve, tell everybody out there what you do with Team La Gloria and how you. Uh, yeah, I'm on the marketing side, so I work uh, pretty closely with Michael in the factory, uh, getting um, you know the product ready for market, getting all preparing all the materials that our sales guys need to get it out into the stores, so you know everybody can smoke it. So it was just down in the DR last That's week, right. Dominican Republic, uh, yep. at the factory. Had a great time. It was great. We have a great bunch of people that work down there. It was just a lot of fun for me. Uh, a lot of cigars we smoke too. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. No, definitely. So we're going to have some pictures from the trip. Um, they're going to be being released in the next couple days. But here's the funny thing. So today, Steve hasn't really talked to me. And he was just like, you know, you ready for the light and learn? And he had this smirk on his face. Yeah. And I know you want to ask me something, but I, I got that sense about you. So Well, I did, you know, because, I mean, I've learned a whole lot from you, Mike, in the last couple of years. And, and I was thinking, you know, you know, remember uh, Mr. Spock, you know, uh, he did the mind meld and he put the, you know, the hands on the face and <laughs> transferred the knowledge and got into the guy's brain. I mean, there's a little bit of me that wants to do that with you. I'm not sure. There's probably some parts of your brain that I, I, I don't want to go anywhere near, man. Really? But... Uh, obviously, uh, but I, so I wanted to thank you for that. But the big question, you know, it's a it's a pleasure coming in and and, and uh, you know smoking cigars with you and stuff like that. But I always wanted to know, back at your house, is your is it, what's bigger? Is your humidor bigger or your closet, man, with all these clothes? So this is the question you wanted to ask. Yeah, today. that's it. This man. is why you were that's avoiding it. it. All right. Well, it's the clothes collection. Uh, funny thing is, I, I lost some weight yeah. over the last couple of years, literally 100 pounds, and I have over 600 suits and 1,000 shirts that I'm trying to get rid of. So anybody out there that's a 46 to a 50 regular, yeah. uh, you which got you're some. not. No, I, maybe you're someday, not, maybe someday. I want to give this stuff away specifically to the vets, so if anybody out there in social media can reach out to that, thank you, Steve. I would love to give this stuff away great. for guys coming back and the ladies coming. Well, I don't know if ladies want to wear my stuff, but... If you want to see some cool stuff, I'd love to give this stuff away to vets trying to get back into the workforce or whatever. So we're using one little cool. So that's the question you wanted to that ask. That was me. a question, man. <laughs> <All> right, cool. <laughs> that's very cool. <laughs> so 
Steve, um, anything else? No, man. I want to. I want. Uh, you got another guy on the team that uh, I know you want to bring up too, Matt. Yeah. So let me let me make room for right. him. And uh, appreciate it. Steve. Great Thank talking to you, Mike. Working with you, Steve. All right. So we got another new guy. Uh, come on in, Matt. This is Matt Davenport. Hey, everybody. And Matt, how long have you been with us, Matt? Total of six months now. Six months. But I've known you for how long? Uh, at least what four or five years? Probably longer. Yeah, probably longer than so my cigar helpers. Yes. So Matt actually joined our team. He reached out to me a while back, and I'm so glad he's on his team. But two of the really cool things we're talking about. One, we're going to talk about right now. The second thing is something that's in my hand that we're going to be releasing very shortly. We're going to tell you how to get that. So. For the longest time, we had a laborious society. Um, there was an application process, so we're changing that this year. That's one of the big stories that we're telling right now. And Matt's helped us put this together because we've been working on this forever. So, Matt, tell everybody how you get into society and what you need to do, et cetera. So, we have one thing we do need to get. Uh oh. He'll be right back. The society members basically are, are very loyal fans for us and. Um, now we just want to open this up. So here's our prop that Matt spent all last night working on. Great school project. <laughs> it is right side. So yeah, there we go. All right. So you guys need to go to LaGloriaCubana.com. Click on the link to sign up for the society. Now, it's a quick application. We'd like to hear about your favorite moments from LaGloria. We got some great ones we're going to share a little later on. And we're going to tease you out a little bit. You're going to get what's inside this box right here. Can I look here. at it? You can, not to the cameras quite yet. So. Some great stuff in there. But uh, we really want to expand the society out. We want all of the fans of Gloria Cubana to have a chance to be a part of the Gloria Cubana family. We really feel a great connection with you guys and we know you're big cigar lovers. And we want you to share that with everyone else and help anyone who hasn't smoked a La Gloria get over the hump and actually smoke a good cigar. Fantastic. So. so. The society basically is about, you get an inside peek behind the tent, you get to see what Steve and Matt and I do all day, as well as Judy Gann and my team in the Dominican, as well as uh, the, the Esteli team in Nicaragua, how we make Cigar Esteli. So there's a lot of stuff coming. We're not going to tell you that all now. We'll open this box a little bit later to show you what you get. And plus, there's another surprise that we're going to talk about as well. So head to LaGloriaCabana.com. Don't stop listening. We'll talk a little bit more about it later. Nice to meet everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. So with that, I want to celebrate four of our original members. And we have some very special gifts for them. First one is Will McFall. I actually saw Will this past weekend. Um, one of the reasons that Will actually got into um, the La Gloria Society was that he actually has a tattoo of La Gloria on there. So, so Will, if you're watching, I want to give you and autograph this to you. This is a La Gloria Cabana trunk show from 2015. Will, this is for you, my friend. Thank you for being such a great guy. some of the perks of being part of this society. Thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm. Second person I want to thank is Paul Cedillo. Paul, you've been a loyal fan. You've been talking to us a lot. Uh, I saw you in Chicago a few years ago. You're always posting stuff, so thank you so much from my heart. You also get a box of truck show, and these are, look at that, these are for 2015 as well. So there's two different versions. So just want to show you guys real quick. This is a variety of smokable bands and the cutout bands from various years. These are from Judy Guillen, YG23, and also my version. So we put a box together. Check that out, guys. You smoke this cigar, the band disappears. It's the silhouette of the lady. The other one is another smokable band. And when you smoke through the band, you actually keep the ashes in it. So. There may be some of these around, but guess what? Paul, this one's for you, so you don't need to search. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Third person is Ryan Wellner. Ryan Wellner is an ex-Marine. Love this man. He's done a lot for our country. So first on behalf of uh, Team La Gloria, thank you for your service. Also, you also have a tattoo on your body of La Gloria. Um, you don't need to do that to get into the society, but just that kind of helps. 
Um, so, Ryan, you get the MG08. Thank you. This is from 2014, so this is a collector's item. And the last person is Doc Robert Rashid. So Doc, I know you don't like Robert, but you're my friend. Thank you so much for being a big supporter of La Gloria. Come on, always seeing you at events and always smoking La Gloria. Really appreciate what you do for us. And you also get a box of trunk show. These are trunk shows from 2015 as well. That's for you, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay, so, first part of the giveaway. You know what, do we have an answer on what my favorite designer is yet? Does anybody have that? Because I really want to get this box autographed off to somebody. We got some Armani out there. Okay, that, that wins. One of them. What's that? Oh, Bob Langmaid. Bob Langmaid. Bob, bro. This is for you, Bob. Thank you. By the way, there's a team of guys behind us. I want to really thank them. Andrew, Luke, and Lucas. Great guys for helping us out. You should see the setup here. It's pretty wild. Um, so, that's the first part of this thing. I want to kind of get into the next part, which basically get, leads to what is in my hand, and I'm not going to show you. But the history of La Gloria Cabana, actually, I joined La Gloria Cabana in 1999. If anybody knows my background, which I've spoken about, I actually started in Philly, Italian immigrant kid. Um, we basically bought Philadelphia to uh, Italy to little Philadelphia, and my family felt like they had to bring everything that they had on the farm there. And so I ended up being a chef, and actually was, we're going to work on a PhD in psychology, and September will be my 36th year. I commenced my 36th year in the cigar industry. But the coolest thing about this was, up until 1999, I thought I knew a lot about the cigar industry, but I didn't. I walked into a factory, got hired by La Gloria Cabana as a national sales manager. I was supposed to be working on other things, but what happened was, when I was a chef, I would never pay, I would always pay attention to different recipes and stuff, and I had this curiosity about me. And so when I got to the factory, I was supposed to be doing other things, and I was always running off to see how the rollers were rolling, how the tobacco was being fermented, and always being dragged back. And so the curiosity there is what started with me basically starting to think about blending under Ernesto Perez Tulish. We actually worked on the uh, Siri R blend together, more so on the sizes, the number six and number seven the original Siri R. Number six was the six by 60, and the number seven is the seven by 58. These were unheard of back in those days because, you know, all the cigars were getting smaller and Siri R basically started to trend to that. So, saying all that, what ended up happening is we created about a few years ago, Siri R Esteli and Siri R Black. And so I wanted to take the sizes even, even further and actually even go even bigger. And so, but my idea was to go to Esteli um, find an Esteli wrapper. The problem was that nobody was growing Esteli wrappers. I already had the fillers and binders, and my philosophy going back to the time I was a kid was my mom would say to me and my sister, hey, go in the backyard, we're gonna make a salad tonight, go grab whatever you want. And so the farm to table mentality for me was kind of important. So I had the fillers and binders from the Valley of Esteli, but the problem is I didn't have a wrapper. We finally found a guy that had five disconnected farms, Two of the wrappers were spectacular. We had to learn how to re-blend with my team, how to put the fillers and binders together with the wrapper. And so the idea was off the mountain, into the valley, into the table, off the table, into the box, which is this box here. So, here's the cool thing. What I have in my hand, if you can see it, is Suriar Esteli Maduro, okay? And I'm going to unveil this. Box, designation by Maduro. I know this is genius, right? But I thought the box was so perfect, I didn't want to change it. And box will open. Need technical assistance. Thank you, Matt. Just slide it. There we go. Yeah, Thank beautiful. you. Thank you for your help. So, 
This is the box. Here are the cigars. So, over here I have 500 of these. These are being launched July 1st. We were actually in the Dominican Republic with our sales team and they got the first preview, but they didn't get any of the cigars because I didn't want to share it with them. But tonight, if you join the La Gloria Society, LaGloriaCigars.com, you will get one of these beauties for your enjoyment if you sign up for the La Gloria Society. Now, here's the difference. The Esteli in Black or Nicaraguan Poros, the story behind this was I was talking to the guys in Nicaragua last year in October and I'm like, you know what? I hear so many people wanting a Maduro wrapper on the Esteli in Black. Do you think you could do that? And I thought in my head, you know what? These are Poros. How do I take a Connecticut Broadleaf and put that on there? And I, it, was, it was a struggle for me. So as a, as a whim, I said to the guys, you know what, make me some of the sizes in the Esteli and put a Broadleaf wrapper on it. So I got the package literally two days before I went on vacation for the holidays. And I let, actually let him sit on my desk until I came back from the holidays, which was January 3rd or whatever it was. And then I started smoking because I was thinking about it, but I like, to, I like to dry our cigars, not in a humidor. I like to let them dry out and really age on my desk. And so when I came back, this is the first cigar I smoked, and I thought about it my entire vacation, and I lit it up, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. So the whole idea of a Nicaraguan Puro, even though the fillers and binders are that, to put a broadleaf on that, it's actually pretty spectacular. So... I can't wait for you guys to try this. That's the story behind Sierra Esteli Maduro and Sierra Esteli uh, Black Maduro. These are going to be available July 1st, but because if you sign up, you're going to get these tonight. I have actually 500 cigars here, maybe 497 because I, Steve, Matt, and I have smoked one each so far. So they're for you. So check them out. Okay. Next, we should do some giveaways. Do you guys not agree? Yes. So, we have some questions we can take. Oh, look at this. And here comes the hot sheet. Is it true you must work tobacco fields for the first year in the society? This is from Mike Harden. So Mike, you know, being a Philadelphia guy and being an Italian guy, if you're in WICSAC, which is the Witness Protection Program, yes, you do, because if that's the way to hide out. You need to hide out. I think that's what we need to do. Seriously though, you know what? Working in the fields, I've done a little bit of that. It is a lot of hard work, but you know, when you're working on cigars, it's always about the ingredients and what you, th how you see them growing and then what you think you're gonna be able to do with it. The toughest part is you don't know what it's gonna taste like. So you gotta wait for that plant and then you gotta wait a few years for that all to ferment and, and sit. And so working in tobacco fields, you get a really appreciation of the soils, the sounds, the humidity, the moisture, the, the ter terroir, the dirt, and you get to feel it and look at the plant. You see the little bugs flying around and you see bees pollinating. It's a really fascinating thing. So to be part of the society, no, you don't need to do that, but I encourage you, if we ever set up a trip to the DR, we will take you to the fields and you will be blown away by the precision of the rows of tobacco leaves and how big the plants grow. It is a pretty spectacular, awe-inspiring, is one of the beautiful things I've seen when I go to the farms. Blown away by how beautiful these plants are. How would you, so, so Mike, thank you so much. Um, this is from Kevin Bishop. How would you describe what makes the La Gloria Cigar unique? Wow, um, that's a great question. Kevin, the best way I could describe this is it's about taste profiles, and for me, being a chef back in a, in a previous lifetime, to me, I learned very quickly two things when I was a chef. One, number one, if you're going to use ingredients, you got to be able to taste it on the dish. And if you put too many ingredients in there and you can't taste it, you're wasting ingredients. And I've never been that guy that's thought about that. And then, but the science behind it is five things you can taste. Sweet, sour, salt, bitter, and umami, which is meat flavors. So my job when we're blending La Gloria Cabanas is really to be able to hit all those taste profiles within the tobacco you're using. If I find a tobacco that we're using that doesn't give me bits of saltiness or bits of bitterness or bits of sourness or bits of umami flavors, then to me that doesn't really work so well because I want it to be balanced. And I always describe this as the great meals you've ever had. You walk out of a restaurant like, wow, that was really good. 
Why? Because you were able to taste everything that that chef put on the on the plate. And it's the same thing for me with cigars. I don't like doing high notes where it's one dimensional and very, very strong. And I don't like doing very low, which is very, very bland. I like doing right in the middle. So it's not about strength for me. It's about flavor, always flavor, because I want to coat your palate with flavor, the five pieces that you can taste. Now, here's where it gets a little hairy. Not everybody has the genes to taste all five of those things. So my job, you know, you think about that. So if, you know, if you like chocolate, then there's a specific cigar that you will like. And so you're probably really attracted to Maduro wrappers. If you don't like sour, which is like lemons and stuff, you may not be particularly fond of a specific taste. So you may not be able to taste that. So my job is to be able to put all five flavors and what your body can, can taste is what's important because we're all built a little bit differently. So that's what I try to do and that's what I think La Gloria Cabana does. Now, with that, you have White Box, you have the classic Serie A, you have Serie A Esteli and now Serie A Maduro. Each one of these blends are tweaked a bit to actually fully actualize the flavors of the cigars. And that's what's critical to me. I really want to get flavors out. and. Actually, in a few months, I will be hitting on tour, and I will get into a little bit more detail. It's going to be called Misa de Maduro. I'm going to talk to you about the lines from White Box that we call the classic La Gloria, the Serie A, Serie A Black, Serie A uh, Esteli Maduro, and how the variation of that broadleaf wrapper, and what we look for in that broadleaf wrapper to really get out the flavor of it, to increase the sugar content and be able to taste it, that, that is just a very creamy, creamy taste. So that's coming up, um, stay tuned, and that's the best way I could describe that. Um, how, do you, how, do you, how did your experience with Nesta Perez Pidio affect your, your career in the cigar industry? And this is from Bob Langbane. You know what, um, Ernesto Perez Carrillo is one of my mentors in the cigar industry, as is Benji Menendez, but I learned a ton from Ernesto. Um, to this day, we're still, a, we're still really great friends. We also um, actually did, three years ago, we did a project called Reunited. We were both in five years removed from Ernesto leaving La Gloria Cabana, starting his own business with his family. We came back, we're in different places, and we actually put this project together, and it was, you know, our take on cigars just made for fun for us. It's kind of a cool place, but when I first started, he taught me a lot about tobacco, he taught me a lot about cigars, he taught me a lot about the knowledge that I needed to be actually in the factory and know what I was looking at and why we were looking at this and the impacts of the environment and the, the humidity and the tobaccos and how they react differently. That is a knowledge you can't find in a book, but to have this, this and he, he's one of these old school cigar masters that you will never see again. I, I love the man as a friend, I love him as my mentor, and my career changed because he taught me the basics of like when I went to chef school. He taught me the basics of cigars and then he took it to the graduate level. And to this day, um, I actually saw him last weekend and we just like we never, never left. So we talk quite often. Um, you never know what happens in the future, but you know, we may be teaming back up. I don't know, I'm not putting that out there, but I would love to uh, be able to do this kind of project again in a collaboration. So, if you see Ernesto, tell him uh, Michael G said, what's up, bro? Um, last question, is the image of the lady on your cigar of an actual person? Great question, wow. So, here's the story. About 10 years ago, I, I'm a bit of an obsessive guy. If you really look at the white box, there's two vistas on it. The vista with the lady in cherubs is from the Victorian era. The lady on the band is actually from the Art Deco period. And when I was looking at it, because I'm an uh, appreciator of art, I actually looked at something. These are two different time periods. I wonder where this vista came from, from the 1800s, and where the lady on the band came. So I asked a ton of people in the cigar industry. Um, Lou Rothman, who is one of the geniuses of the cigar industry, who is now retired, actually connected me with a gentleman out in California who's a historian. And he said, you know what, Michael, you're never going to know because what happened with the, the artwork is nobody knows who created that because the stone lithography is gone and nobody has, has that artwork. The band itself, and the best he could tell me was, back in the, in, in the Art Deco period, in the 1920s, what they would do is actually the ladies holding a cigarette with a pack of matches. And how these two came together, I kind of surmised 
Rocha is the actual owner of the brand in the modern times, in the 1900s. And I figured, he, he said, you know what, I need to use a cigar band that has a lady on it. He saw the Vista, saw this that was being used for cigarette bundles. Um, lady, lady, let's put these two together. To this day, if anybody has that information, I would love to know if this is really a lady, but the, the literal translation of La Gloria Cabana is the glory of Cuba, and I think she's a great representative. This is my girl, always will be my girl. She's in my heart and soul, and that's Lady La Gloria. So, hope that answers your question. We need to give some stuff away. Do we not, Steve? Steve's right off camera. Do we need to give some stuff away? I, you know what? I don't know. I don't hear the roar on Twitter. Is there a roar on Twitter to give stuff away? Okay. So how are we going to do this, Andrew? Ah. Close your eyes. Pick a cigar box. Ah. Thank you. Tell us about it. So this is La Gloria Cabana Churchill Maduro. That's the Vista I was talking about. I don't want to open up this box, but you kind of see the lady on the bench. Okay? Two different pieces of art. So, this is one of the classic brands that actually started La Gloria Cabana in the 1990s. This actually brand goes back to 1980, so it's one of those staid classic brands. I want to give this away to somebody and autograph it. So, who gets this wonderful box of cigars? Uh, you really expect me to spell Schmidt? I'm going to get it wrong. Thank you. And why are we giving this to Ronald Schmidt? Because he's a big fan. Big fan. There you go. Ronald, thank you so much. Um, this box is for you. We'll get this out to you tomorrow. And my pen's dying, so. There you go, Ronald. This box is for you. Thank you, Matt. Should we give another box away? Let's do another box. I, I'm in the mood right now. I want to give a box away. I'm going to close my eyes. Ah! Ah! What the hell is this, bro? You know, all right. So, thanks, Matt. So, really. So every year, this has become a tradition. I, I have guys coming in my office and they actually show up with stuff that I didn't know. This was actually one of my personal cigar cigar molds from the you know, Credito Cigar Factory in Miami. And somehow this got absconded from my office and is now here, so um, I guess I gotta give this away. Barista on duty, Judge Edward. Coffee, Barista on duty. Jay Vina, Sky says he wants it. So. Barista on duty. Barista on duty? Yeah, Jake. I wonder what Jay Boone is gonna do at this. He says you enjoyed his coffee. <laughs> You know, what I really want to find out is who took this mold from my office because I wonder what else is missing. <laughs> I'm happy to give this away. So enjoy. That's for you. Thank you, Matt. Will says he stole your lighter, so uh, maybe we should pull out a couple lighters. Yeah, let's do some lighters. We have some lighters, Matt? Okay, so I, I don't know how we're going to give away this lighter, but this is a cool lighter. It's probably not filled. This is a tabletop La Gloria lighter. Uh, it's a very classic look from the 1920s. It's a four torch lighter. It's got La Gloria Lady on it. I love this lighter. I use this personally. Oh, we got two of them. That cool. One, that one's full. Oh, cool. This one's full. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a serious torch. This will light up your cigar right away. So. 
Are we giving both of these away? Yeah, Judy says hello. Judy? He says hello. Tell him I love him. Love him. Don Barr. D-O-N-B-A-R-R. He's a winner. Okay, he Don. Got another one coming. That's the house. Next lighter. Who gets this lighter? Jordan Cole. J O R D A N. Yes. Jordan, that's for you. By the way, I want to talk really quickly about Judy, Judy Guillen. He is my partner in crime. He is a brother to me. We're, we're brothers from different mothers. He's my D Dominican heartbeat. He's my heartbeat. I love the man. He's such a sweetheart. Um, hopefully, he'll be at the Big Smoke this year if any of you folks are there. He is one of the most talented, most knowledgeable, and uh, one of the most beautiful human beings I've met. He's my brother, Judy. Thank you. I love you. I love your beautiful wife, Giselle. Thank you for tuning in, my friend, my brother. Okay, let's grab some folks. Let's grab some other folks. Let's grab those three guys. So we got some more of our team here. Generally, we work really, really late. What I want to reduce three people that work on our team. Come on over, guys. Come on. All right, first gentleman. Gosh. Michael. Gosh. What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Oh, I'm breaking oh, you're shit. Breaking That's stuff. what I'm doing. <laughs> what are you doing? So, this is Gus Martinez. Hey, guys. He is a dear friend of mine. We work together. He runs a lot of the brands at General Cigar. Right. Well, tell him what you do, bro, because yeah. I don't know what you do. I hang out with Michael all day <laughs> and think of creative stuff. <laughs> you and have a lot of fun, quote The Godfather, and listen to a lot of Frank Sinatra. So literally today on Facebook, what's the guy's name, Vinny? Oh, Sal. Sal. Sal from um, America's Got Talent. So all day, we were both very, very busy, and I'm walking down the hall, and Gus is walking the other way. He's like, dude, i got to show you something. i got to show you something. And I'm like... I gotta run to a meeting. It's really important. I gotta show you something. So he pulls me into his office, and he shows me the video of Sal Cacucciatore or whatever. He's some Italian some guy. Some Italian guy. I mean, stone Italian. Doing? An Italian guy from Long he Island. Long Island. He delivers pizzas for his pizzas. His brother's place. So America's Got Talent. It's it's all over Facebook. Yeah. And Gus and I for about five minutes because we love Sinatra. We love Dean Martin. He sings my way, and oh, both amazing. Gus and I. We're like just laughing because Gus always makes fun of me. Like I'm always like, hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> that's exactly what he was exactly. doing. He was going up to Heidi Klum, go, hey, how you doing? How, how you, you doing? doing? <laughs> so that's when we're not working. Literally, yeah. we'll go by and we'll quote Godfather's both our favorite movies. Yep. And and part of the rule in our office is, if you don't know the Godfather movies, we don't talk yet because we will really throw out lines, right? All the time. All the time. So there's a kid we're going to introduce you to. We literally, literally, a gentleman I'm going to introduce you to, that we said to him, we started quoting lines, and he said to us, what are you guys quoting? And we both looked at each other, dude, let me explain something to you. <laughs> <laughs> Your homework this weekend is to watch Godfather 1 and Godfather 2. And minimum. If you, minimum. And if you don't watch it, you're done. You're done. So literally, Gus bought in his collector's edition, which is probably about this big, yep. and we forced him to watch it over a weekend, and first thing Monday morning, we started shooting my yeah. tenant, and he was coming back, and he was a little, you know, but he, he got the message, so. Yeah. So, I'm gonna introduce the gentleman. Gus, anything else you wanna say? I don't mean to no, kick man. you out. Love you, bro. Love you Keep too, up bro. the great work. Thank you. It's fantastic. Thank you. Justin, come here, Justin. All right, I'm gonna shame you. I don't know if I want to sit down after that intro. So, this is Justin Andrews. Hey Justin guys. is the gentleman that didn't learn about The Godfather, but... Well, let, let's, 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 uh, let's here, here, be here. honest. I had seen The Godfather. I just didn't have it memorized word for word and hadn't lived my life to the code that they, you know, instill in everyone. So, Justin, <laughs> I'm tired of all your excuses. I know you're a good earner, but hey... You gotta learn the movie. If you wanna hang with Michael. I know, I know. He almost kicked me out of the family. Yeah. But we love you anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. That's what he has to deal with all day. But Justin has joined us from uh, another boutique company. My other company is Foundry Tobacco Company. Justin came in, he's been a great addition to the team. So on the other on, on our creative side, Justin and I work very closely together and that's what Justin Andrews 
comes in, knows a lot about cigars. He's working on building out our platform of Foundry Tobacco Company. So, anything you want to say? Yeah, I'm just you know excited to work Look with you. Look at the camera, bro. I, I, they want to see your face. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is my first uh, live broadcast here. So yeah, we're doing some exciting things at Foundry. Uh, we've got some new products coming out of the show. Some pretty exciting things. We'll be teasing here pretty soon. Uh, I'm trying to steal some of Michael's time from La Gloria, but uh, we're working well together. And, uh, and and stay tuned for La Gloria and Foundry. We're gonna do some really cool things in the future. Amen. Yeah. Thank you for coming, bro. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. All right, now, completely off the radar screen, <clears throat> we have a brand called Tarano, and, uh, well, Michael. hey, Jack, this is Jack Tarano. Uh, those of you that are on the Twittersphere and the social media world just want to introduce Jack Tarano. He's well-known in the industry. Uh, he just joined us literally Two, a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. <laughs> Great yeah. guy. I've known Jack forever. He's known me forever, and it's cool to have him in the family, so... Jack, first of all, I want to officially welcome you to everybody. Thank you, Michael. It's, Secondly, been, it's been the warmest welcome. It's, it's been unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, the week and a half, is, uh, I've been smiling since, I, since the day they announced it. And we are too. So yeah, tell, tell everybody a little bit about Toronto. Toronto, uh, as you all know, sold to General in, in uh, late 2014. And um, General really uh, was, was trying to get a plan together of what they were going to do. And the moment they had it, they have built a great momentum with it. You know, uh, it, it was a cool that they, they saw a need in, in, in bringing me on board and, and being the face of the brand. And I'm, I'm, I, can't, I can't even begin to tell you how excited What's I am. What's your last name again? It's Tarano. It's a hell of a coincidence. <laughs> you know, it, it kind of worked out well. And uh, and uh, I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna be the rest of the year. I'm gonna be doing events in Florida, uh, probably stretching out across the country. We got a great event plan. Jack is back, and we got a great event plan for everybody. And then I'll be out there supporting everything Michael does, and everything Rick Rodriguez does, and everything General does. And uh, I'm very excited to be part of the team. And we're really excited to have you on board. And it's really cool to have a family member work on the Toronto brand. That's what we were missing. Mm. You're a fantastic guy. You and I bonded like before you even came in. Absolutely. And I'm Absolutely. so happy. You know, what's cool about the cigar industry is that we're one big family. You guys are part of our family, and. To have a guy like Jack join it, it is just like another wonderful guy coming to town. Thank you. So. And, and, and right here publicly, I'm going to thank Michael because Michael was one of the guys lobbying big time for me to come back. Oh, so thank I, you, I, Jack. I, I, you know, I I felt like I was pestering him a lot when we would do events, but 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 it worked out well. Michael, Jack, thank, thank you, you so and much. I'm very Look excited to be guy. on board, and and we'll do a lot of great things. And and this man's got a lot of cool shit to give away. So can you cuss on this show? Well, you just did, so <laughs> it's our show. We can do whatever we Thank want. Thank you, guys. I'll see you around. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> hang on, hang on. One second. Megan. Hi, Megan. All right, so here's another part of our team. Believe it or not, there are ladies in the cigar industry. This is Megan Jenkins. Hi, Megan. Hi, everybody. So, Megan, tell everybody what you get to do. I get to work with a genius here. <laughs> yeah. He tells me what he wants to do, and I do it creatively. No, we work together. So Megan is one of our graphic artists. A lot of stuff that we work on La Gloria, we work together on it. She blows out beautiful artwork for us. So some of this packaging that you see here, her hands are on it. It's her, some of her designs on it. Uh, what I love is I get to collaborate with talented people. She's one of those talented people, and uh, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Megan. Anything else? You want to say hello to your girls? Friends. So hi, friends. You brought more ladies, cool. You can come meet them later. What's that? You can meet them later. Okay, I can meet them later, cool, thank you. All right, what do we want to do now? We want to do the society? Yes, we want to, yeah. we want to unveil the society? Yes, All right. Time. Hear the drum roll Blatant coming. marketing pitch, here we go. Absolutely. LaGloriaCigars.com, okay, this is how you join the society. So Matt, let's do a recap for anybody that's come in a little bit late. So if you've come in, just go to LaGloriaCabana.com to sign up. Just follow the links for the society. We're expanding everything out. We want an army of guys out there that love LaGloria so they can spread the love to anyone who hasn't had the chance to smoke them before. We want to see pictures out there, all sorts of cool stuff. There's news uh, that will be exclusive through the society. So we get an inside peek at El Credito. I might even throw some pictures of Michael on there, you know, what he's wearing day to day. <laughs> We'd love seeing him come in the office. Thank you, Matt. So he could have his own Instagram feed by himself with that. But without All right, so 
What is this? All right, I'm without excited. further ado, each member that signs up is going to be getting this welcome cake. Beautiful Lady LaGloria. Drum roll. Whoa. So I'm going to keep the card. This is a card that neat. is basically welcoming you to our society. Yeah. Well, let them. They're going to get it. They're right. going to get right. it. So. so the two things in here, though, we got 80 wow. ring gauge cutter. Look at that. Wow. It is logoed out with La Gloria Society. Okay, these are special to the first 500 people. And what is this, man? No, everyone's going to get the cutter, and everyone's going to get their own membership card. So that's straight copper right there. Makes a beautiful sound when you drop it. These are numbered, right? They are numbered. So, so you have numbers. Sign up as soon as you can if you want to get a low number. So here's what I think. Everybody's heard of this, the American Express black card, and they've heard of the carbon card. Bro, La Gloria Cabana has the copper card. This can buy stuff that those cars can't. You get to be part of this really cool family. You get a peek under the tent. You get this really cool thing. And this is just the beginning. This is much bigger. It's more about us just giving you cigars. It's more about you actually get to be part of our family. We get to feed you stuff. You get to see pictures. You get to get one of the first 500 cigars of La Gloria Cabana, Serie R, Esteli Maduro. Very, very cool. Really excited by this. Matt's put this all together for us. So Matt, I want to personally thank you. You did a spectacular job. One day I said to Matt, Matt, we really want to put something together. And he came walking in with this and I was blown away. So to have a young guy I've known forever come into our organization and really understand what we're doing. He's a big time cigar smoker and to put this together, thank you. He actually made this for you guys. So this is our thank you to you for being supportive of our brands and being very loyal to us. This is just the beginning. So, Matt, this will, is cool. I will put the caveat. So the first 500 are going to get the new Siri R Esteli Maduro. Wow. Except for the ones that we're smoking tonight. So it might be like 490. But all the same, uh, if we have more than that, you're still going to get a cigar. The only caveat i got to put on it from legal, can't send cigars to Rhode Island or Virginia. Uh, there are laws against it. You might have a package from Matt or Michael in the mail if we can pull that off, but not from General Cigar. We'll figure out a way to get these to you. So we're going to try our best. So, But you'll definitely get the kit, and you need to hold on to both this cutter and the card. We're going to have some contests coming up for awesome really? pictures with each of these items. Might be one, might be the other. Get inside his mind, because he's going to be the judge. So you've had a little bit of time with him tonight. So we'll be looking for a lot of content out there, uh, helping you guys share the love of LaGloria online, because as, as much as you guys trust him, a lot of consumers are really looking for recommendations from you. So we actually found, uh, you want to do the quotes or you want to do some pictures? Now? Well, let's do, because you know what? We're going to go. Great segue, Matt. Again, thank you for doing that. So Matt actually went through some of his social media and actually pulled out three names that we are going to induct people tonight. You're going to get this. You're already inducted. First person is Floyd Anthony Claxton, okay? And here's this quick story. When I pull out a La Gloria Cabana cigar and someone catches the aroma and begin to ask me about the cigar, I always carry a few with me. And I will share, and often I meet the most interesting people while introducing them to really find La Gloria Cabana cigars. So what's my favorite La Gloria Cabana moment? The next one coming because I find that the next La Gloria Cabana moment is always awaiting down the road, around the bend, over the hill. Floyd, beautiful, thank you. You are inducted into the La Gloria Cabana Society. And, beginning of the perks, you get a box of Serie R number sevens. That's for you, my friend. Thank you for being a member. Congratulations. Second one is... The birthday boy. I'll get to the birthday boy. This is Rodney Adams. Rodney, I've known for a long time. When Team La Gloria sent me 15 boxes of cigars to spread amongst the soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division, LI, while we were serving in Kandar, Afghanistan. Rodney, thank you on behalf of everybody in the US and also the Team La Gloria. Thank you so much for what you've done for us. You were inducted into the Hall of Fame, into the La Gloria Cabana Society. Thank you for your support. It's great to see you back. 
uh, and your beautiful wife as well. So I've seen your pictures on, on social media. And Matt, let's give, let's give my friend Rodney a box of Siri R number fives. And I know that you will share these with your, your veterans, so thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, so here's a funny story. On Facebook on Sundays, a friend of mine's birthday, um, I wished him, hey man, happy birthday, and I hope your wish comes true. He then proceeds to send me a messenger Facebook Messenger, I'm confused about your post. Does it mean I'm part of the society? This was on Sunday, it's Wednesday night. So, I'm not gonna tell you the name yet. I'm sure if you're out there, you know who it is. Working alongside Michael at Cigar Fest and Big Smoke, handing out cigars, meeting great people, having thousands of people tell you they enjoy your cigar is a good feeling. I am forever loyal to Michael for the way he has treated me and my family and the great cigars he has delivered. Thank you means a ton to me. Tom Fritz, your wishes come true. Happy birthday, my friend. Your birthday is today, it wasn't Sunday. So, Tom, you get one of these as well. You get a box of cereal, number five. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being a big supporter of La Gloria. Thank you for being a supporter of our factory. So, Tom, welcome. Happy birthday, my friend. Cool. That's the kind of stuff. We'd love to reward people for doing all these great things. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sign up, guys. We really wanted, really want you guys to be part of our club. Okay, so I think we have more cigars we want to give away. Steve, come on over and help me, Steve. Ah, we got more stuff? Oh, we do. Oh. All right, Michael, what do we got here? Help me out. So, this is Erin Devaney. This is one of her social media posts. So, Erin, actually as a team, we all picked these out. We love the way you did the liquor and you're just kind of in there. So, to have one of our ladies, love the lady. Thank you so much. Salute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Missed that. All right, do that again. Toast. Here you go. <laughs> Yeah, some great pictures we found right out there that all you guys are posting. So, Aaron, not only am I going to autograph this to you, we actually had this printed map did that. We're also going to send you cigars, so thank you so much. Excellent. Next one, Steve, you can read the name for me. All right, we have uh, David Bailey, Jr. Pretty cool, man. I love... And we love this really classic, artistic look to it. I'm a big fan of art, and the colors just, just jumped off for us. So you're also going to get a cigar, David. I'm going to autograph this to you. Great composition. If you guys like this artwork, like, let's give these people props on the social media. Excellent. All right, Nick, what do we got next, Michael? Uh, Veronica Santiago. Another lady. Um, everything about this picture is absolutely beautiful and stunning. So, Veronica, thank you so much. You're going to get cigars as well. Yeah, so keep posting those pictures to social media. We'll keep scouring them. We love seeing them. And uh, like Michael said, we'll pull out, a, pull out some of the... Uh, the ones we like. What is it? At La Gloria Cabana? Uh, yes. Yes. And who's this gentleman? This is Bill Bender. So Bill, skateboarder, athletic, very cool, man. I really want to know how you actually got, you know, you're smoking a cigar on a skateboard. That's, you're a talented cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, That's no so doubt. cool. So Bill, thank you so much. We're going to give, we're going to replace that cigar you smoke with another one. So thank you. And then this, this picture is Last from Mi uh, Nick Herrera. Dude, Adam Wars Piget with cufflinks, styling. You know how to hit my heart. 
in a guy kind of way. Beautiful shot, man. Well dressed. Beautiful. I'm glad to have you part of our society. Bro, that's a great watch. That is a quick I need that watch. Answer. Yeah, no doubt. Couple more here. Here's Rob Clark. Another artistic view of LaGloria. Love when you guys do this because that inspires us to create some really cool things. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Rob, you're also going to get cigars. Cool. That's just a beautiful shot of Siri Arstale. This is Marshall Fultz. Marshall Fultz, yep. Yeah. We're going to replace that cigar. See all how the rewards keep coming in here? Keep posting all our social media outlets. Behind the scenes, you're gonna get some cool stuff. We're gonna give you a ton of information, stuff you may not even know about how we go to the cigar market, how we build brands, how we actually make cigars, the trials and tribulations of putting packaging together, the fights I get in with people of, yes, bro, we can do this. Right? Yeah, this is really cool. It's also cool because, I mean, I, I, uh, I get uh, little reminders on, on notifications on my phone when anybody ever posts uh, something oh, on the that's cool. Yeah, it's really, it's really nice watching and seeing the interaction. And the last one off of uh, uh, Mark, Mark Richmond. Wow, because we're based in Richmond. There you go. Is that why you want Mark? Bro, nothing is more better than in an American flag with a cigar and a cowboy hat. That's beautiful. So you're also going to get cigars, my friend. All right, so we have more stuff to give away, right? Yeah, we do. We're getting close. All right, so let's just let's start banging out some stuff. I hear we got two minutes left. So, Matt, let's fire rapid this stuff. <laughs> Who are we giving stuff away to? Right, let's sit down here. And for all my picture people, I know some of y'all had some specific requests, so your packages are going to be in the mail soon. Why is Jim Davidson getting this box? Jim, thank you. It's not me. It's this team here, and it's the team of the Dominican Republic and in, uh, in Nicaragua. So, Jim, thank you. All right, and what else are we giving away? Too. What else? No, it's not me. It's now, not Bobby me. Bobby Hirschman says he remembers you in the bigger name. Yes, <laughs> Bobby, my Philadelphia oh. boy, Flyers fan. Hey, Bobby, I missed you when I was in Philly a couple weeks ago. So you know what? I'm gonna. I apologize for gonna get, get you a box. What are we getting? What are we getting, Bobby? This might be the last one. We're gonna split them up. Bobby. Or get yeah, you know what? Bobby, I love you. This is chapter three, chapter four from the rival twin. I'm breaking these up. So you have to negotiate with whoever person gets this one. Chris Ramirez from Chicago, big fan. Yep, love Chris. So Bobby and Chris, you guys can negotiate. This box actually comes together. This is a really cool small batch we did. They're magnetic, so they break together. This is Lady La Gloria in the Dominican Republic versus our factory in Honduras. This is her fun twin. So, Chris, this is for you. And we have a silver Sharpie. It's only appropriate with those boxes. Exactly. Glad you thought of it. Okay, so, how much time? All right, last thing. That's for you. Last thing. LaGloriaCigars.com, join the society. We have 500 cigars to give away on Syriar Esteli Maduro. They're yours. We don't want them. We don't want to take these back. We want you to try these. Let us know what you think. For Matt, for Steve, for my rest of my team here, thank you so much. We'll see you soon.